what this episode is already. <laughs> Welcome back to Legendary Sniff, guys. I'm Anthony. Uh, my name's Jeff. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to do something, you know, different for the fans. Yeah, different. You're different. Orgasm. I know. I know. <laughs> Did you uh, hear that sound effect? What sound effect? Boing. Boing. No, I didn't at all. I was looking at you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looking at you, looking at me. Yeah. What? Oh, and so ah. How many of these guys do you have to save per area? Just no, two? um, I don't necessarily have to save them, but apparently there are a couple of frog amulets that I need to get to open the door to the frog city. Uh, Wait, can we just? Can we just? I love video games. Okay, hmm. obviously, look at our channel. Yeah. <laughs> but listen to the statement that I just said, and that is why I love video games. And what other, where else on earth, except in video games, can you say, we need to collect the two frog amulets so we can use them to get into the frog city? Uh, China? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But, like, that's why I love video games. Like, uh, it's just like, well, that's, anything can that's, happen. It's because it's, it's a separate world. That's what I love about it. Fuck the real world. Let's all just play video in. games forever. And let the world go to shit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Being the world going to shit, Fallout 4 also dropped. Yeah. Did you even play it? No, fuck Fallout 4. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't like sports, I don't like Fallout. Have you even played Fallout? I played Fallout 3 and it was good, but like I don't like open world games. Why? There's too much to do, I get too, con I get too overwhelmed. Right, then never play Fallout 4, because I have three days playtime, and I'm still just like... There's so much to do. Like, they, like, there are games that I like that are open world, like Borderlands and stuff like that. Because, I, I don't know, I enjoy doing the side quests and stuff like that. But, like, where, games like Fallout, where it's just, like, I haven't, like, played the other ones. Or I didn't, like, get into, like, the... Er I, like, I don't have, like, the feel for them. Just, like, hopping into Fallout 4, into that, like, huge world that, like, people already have a feel for. I know it's an entirely different world. Uh, well, I mean, it's... Boston, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's what's so cool about but, it. But like you, you, you've already had like a feel for Fallout Three. You know how to like navigate Fallout. I haven't, so like getting into it would just be like, uh, uh I gotta like figure all this. Yeah. I gotta. F I feel you. Yeah. There's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. A lot to it. Even this one, there was like a good learn like day where I was just like, I don't really feel how this game works 100. percent Yeah. But I'm always playing I'm with uh, go <clears throat> my friend Colin Pat. On Xbox, uh, we're always in the same party playing Fallout, and something that I'd say like 99% of people who own Fallout don't get to experience is we live in the area that's in the game. Yeah. So if if you look at the map, like obviously I'm not gonna say where we live. Uh, I'm if not you're going in there, if you're staring fun. at the map, I've been in real life to every single place on that map. Oh yeah. <clears throat> And I figured out there's a, uh, like, a section of the map of, like, where the bomb hit, and it is literally touching our city. Like, we died in Fallout <laughs> if, you know, whatever happened to Fallout. Yeah. Like, we're the people who had zero chance of surviving it happened. Well, I've, ma I've made the connection that we are, like, not far outside of Boston. Have I said that? Like, we're not far outside of Boston, right? Yeah. So, like... We can we can be like yo you want to go to Boston today and it's like yeah why not yeah absolutely but uh, we can make a day of it whenever so, we yeah want. whenever we want that's why <coughs> but like even seeing that game I'm like oh like if a bomb if a nuke landed anywhere near Boston we're fucked yeah well the the major city in the game is Fenway Park the major city is Fenway Park yeah. is that the name of the city no no it's called Diamond City but you said the major city is Fenway Park yeah no no it's like in uh have you, did you play Oblivion. Do you remember the Imperial City? It's like the biggest city where oh, like the oh, world is most oh, established or whatever. Oh, okay. It's no, Fenway I was like, Park. I was like, Fenway Park's a park. Oh, the biggest city is established within Fenway. Yeah. Park. Okay. And it's called Diamond City. Okay. Which is pretty cool. You didn't. You didn't make that very clear. You should have said established within. I tried to make it clear. See this wall. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I, pull, I make mistakes. I'm gonna pull okay. Legend of Zelda and you know maybe like drop a bomb here. See what happens. It did nothing. Right. But, like, there's, like, an extra armor in this room. Like, look, I don't have my armor anymore. Oh, so when you buy the armor, you only wear it until, until it's, it's gone. gone. Oh, how do you get in there? I don't know. Maybe, you probably have to go down another yeah, way. Yeah, maybe down and around. Or just turn the left there. No, I'm going to go back out. All right. Well, that's that's fine. <clears throat> Speaking of Zelda, I'd, 
I don't know how down you'd be, but like I've said many times, I've never ever played a Zelda game, and I'd really like to. So you could play you know. the, you could play a Zelda game maybe. I've n I've only played like uh, like GBA Zeldas. So maybe at some point for a channel, because we're getting a uh, capture card that we can yeah. do other games. Maybe some point in the channel we uh we play a Zelda game. So uh, you have you been playing that DS game? I assume you haven't. Rune Factory. Yeah. No, not really. So like I talked about, I think did I talk about LBX? I don't know. It's don't, it's it's I a DS game LBX that I've been playing. LBX like little battlers experience. It's like a robot fighting game or whatever. Yeah, I've never. Heard On a small it. scale, yeah. It's like very like it's made by level five. Of, I have like a lot of their games actually. What the fuck? Oh, you're back where you were? How? Anyway. Oh, I fell from somewhere, I guess. Anyways, made by level 5. But, uh, I beat that game. It took me about 20 plus hours. Hmm. And so, I was like, I want another DS game. So, have you uh, heard of Yokai Watch? No. Oh, it's... How do you spell it? Y-O-K-A-I Watch, like a watch. Because it's about your watch. Like a watch that you have. Oh, it's not like the Night's Watch? No. And, uh... You went that way? Yeah. It's... So, it's, like, the biggest fucking thing in Japan right now. Really? Yeah. And, like, you can't go anywhere without seeing, like, the flagship character. The little... And it's... It, so, people... Oh. You just tripped randomly. Alright. So, people th look at it and go, that's a, that's a fucking Pokemon clone. If you play it, you're like, this... This 100% is not a Pokemon clone. Because you go around capturing these yokais. No, you can't. Door's locked. I need a key There's one way you didn't store. go yet. Really? Yeah. Uh, once you get up, take your first left, I think, is the okay. one you didn't go down yet. But I thought that was where I came from. Yeah, but this is where you came from, so... Oh, oh. Hey, right, why is why do you keep? Happening? Oh, is when the light goes out? Oh. Uh, yeah, go that way. Oh, uh, I thought... <clears throat> No, yeah, this is where I came from. What the fuck? The door's locked. I need right, yeah, no, it has that, to be I, need, I need to go through that door to go save all those frickin' turtles in that room. Downstairs. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, but what was I saying? Yokai Watch? No, no, don't go that way. Wait, yeah, go yeah, that way. Yeah, because I went that way into the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, you Um, but anyway, Yokai Watch. Not a Pokemon clone at all. Very fun game. I, like... What are you doing? Uh, so... You're in this town... It's the town is Japan. Like you, it's it's like it's really cool. Like you look at the town and you're like, oh, this looks very Japanese. Like this town looks very Japan to me. And you go around collecting these yokai. And yokai are ghosts that affect your everyday life. The game actually addresses divorce, which is kind of awkward. That's sometimes. that's a Zelda wall I've ever seen. But you don't have any bombs. I don't have bombs. But like the game, like like the reason parents cool. turn around. What was that poster of? No, no, no. Walk back. Walk back on the wall. Turn, yeah. That's a rat. <laughs> it's their leader, Mr. Pure Power. Power. Oh, really? I'm good at reading. <laughs> but yeah, good game. Not a Pokemon clone at all. You go around collecting these yokai, which are ghosts that affect everyday life. Like, for example, parents fight because there's this certain uh, yokai called Gulalala. I don't know. I captured it. It's in my party now. But, uh, like, they affect, like, it, they affect car. special move is cause divorce no 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 like but like no like they they're like their presence just does stuff like that because like her aura if you want to say that like is just like anger or gloom or something like that hey this is where they keep their shells that's gross um <laughs> so like didn't know they just came off like that yeah so like if she's around you like get mad and you start fighting but right now there's no like main plot of the game because it's just like going around like helping people and stuff like that and you just go around capturing these yokai and it's, it's a fun game play with me i just <laughs> mr pure power's back i just saw a commercial for xenoblade something have you ever seen those games i have xenoblade chronicles for the new 3ds Specifically oh, for the, the specifically for the new 3DS. Oh, there it's a Wii U one that just came out. Oh yeah, because this no, this Xenoblade has uh, been out for a little while. There's a, it was, it looked kind of cool where it's like, it showed someone like running through worlds and like giant monsters all over the place oh, and yeah. stuff. No, yeah, it's a super huge freaking like. I the RPG second experience. 
I was waiting for it to be like Xbox One or something. The second it was Wii U, I was like, I don't trust that. I don't trust that for one. No, Xenoblade's second. like a big thing. I think like there was a whole like, um, like movement to even just like get it to the U.S. because like a lot of people here wanted it. I think it's Xenoblade. It could be a different game that I'm thinking about. But uh, I played a little bit of it on my 3DS, and it kind of had like WoW style combat. Oh, where it's like one two. Where, where well, you where? Just press one two three a bunch of times. I'm on a 3DS. So there's not one, two, three. A, B, X, Y. I, I, I think I might have you had to use a D-pad. And there's like different battle stances and stuff like that. But it was like the thing where it was kind of like it fought for you. But like stories, you know, super in-depth. World is super freaking huge. <coughs> oh. I've never played Xenoblade. Let me kill this uh, mofo. And then uh, we'll end the episode. And we're going to end this episode here? No, not yet. Let me collect these. Not yet. Let me collect these. Let me hit this. Alright. Alright. So, <laughs> see you guys next time.